All right, y'all. Reverend Colonel here, and today we are going to do an unboxing and review of a rigid miter saw that I just bought. Miter saw and stand that I need for my business, and I just uh, bought it, and it just arrived today. All right, first thing I want to say is, oh my gosh, this box. I wasn't home, my kids were, but they said it came like this. I mean, I hope I'm not missing anything. It, it, it's, yeah. The saw, that box is okay. It's in good shape. But I don't know what they did with this one. It's got a big hole there, big hole here. You put your foot through that one. So, anyway, I'm going to open it up and hopefully everything is there. We'll take a look. We'll do the stand first. Well, that's highly disappointing. Um, you know, the rest of the packaging looks like it's probably not that bad. But, uh... See there? Shows two wheels. Looky here. This was actually laying on top until I moved things around. One wheel. I'm missing a wheel. So, I can't even put this thing together. It's useless to me right now. But I guess I'm going to have to contact Home Depot and uh, get that fixed. Okay, so I opened up the box for the saw. And this was on the top. It's got your blade, your bag, directions. And, uh, Looks like everything for the saws here, except there's this weird white rubbery substance. I don't know what it is, but it's, I don't know. It'll peel, but I don't know what's on there or why it's there. That's just really weird. So, um, so far, uh, you know, that would probably be more on rigid. I don't know why that was on there, but... I mean, if that's the worst thing, that's not a big deal, but not happy, 100%, mainly, probably mostly because I'm unhappy about this box, um, and I don't know if Home Depot directly delivered it or if they had a carrier, because um, I was not home, I'll ask my boys, find out, but uh, yeah. One wheel and no directions. That that's got directions, but there's only one, two parts to put on it: blade and a and a bag. And you would think that this that has assembly to it and screws and all that would at least have some sort of directions. I am sure I can figure out how to put it together, but uh, some people might have problem with it. So yeah, shipping was not good. All right, sound in the record scratch. Yeah. I had to send that other one back because it was missing one of these wheels. And because of courtesy of UPS is who I found out delivered it. And they just delivered me another one today because I had to take both back because they're a set. And I can't get them that way in the store at Home Depot. I could only get it online as a set. So, it was kind of a bummer on that, but I, I knew I had to get it online before, but the saw was fine. But I got another foot saw. Hopefully it's fine. Um, but UPS, again, big hole in the box. Another decent sized hole in the box. Skid marks on the box. And look at this. See this tape? See this tape all the way along the whole way? It came like this. Wide open. Wide freaking open. So, let's look on this side. Well, looks like this time things are in the right places where they're supposed to be on that. I don't see any wheels yet. I still do not see wheels. 
Last time the wheels were in a big bag right here in the middle. So let's see. I do not see wheels there, but I see. Look under this bag here. Oh, maybe. I think that might be wheels. At least a wheel. So let's pull this one out. Get it out of the way. Give this a lift. Oh, two wheels. I saw them. Two wheels. There are two wheels here. There is one wheel right there. And there is one wheel underneath this right here. See, there's the wheel. Wheel. And another wheel in between there. So, it looks like I'm going to get to try to assemble this. Oh, and look. Didn't have this last time either. Directions. Because the last shipping lost the directions and one of the wheels. So, maybe, just maybe, I can get this thing together. So let's see what happens. All right, so I was just gonna assemble this thing and just show it to you all put together, but the directions on this thing, dang great. The explanation, the listing of parts, I mean, it's, yeah, not the best directions. Um, there are two sets of bolts like these, and those that I already put on are axle bolts. They're the longer of the two. Nothing tells you which ones to pick. And I am using a, uh, here you go, 11 16 box wrench and an 11 16 socket to put these wheels together. And uh, other thing I wanted to mention is this thing is heavy as crap. But that's good. It's good because it means it's strong. Everything feels really strong. I mean, as far as manufacturing, I, I may not be happy with the directions and the fact that shipping screwed up, which wasn't their fault, but UPS sucked on this. Uh, but, uh, I mean, look at the size of the wheels on this cart. But, like I said, it's heavy as anything, so, I mean, it weighs as much as a Prius, so you need some pretty big wheels. Okay, so the handle goes in like that. Get your holes lined up. It's that black piece goes on there. Like I said, the directions are horrible on this. Dreadful. And then, what bolt do you put in? Gee, I don't know, I guess, after a lot of looking, it's the one that has a Phillips head. The only one because it shows a Phillips head. So it's the only bolt that uses a Phillips head. So we guess this is the right one. Doesn't mention the A cord nut there, but hey, that's what's on it. And so that will slip right through there. All right, next part you do is the frame support, which is this piece, it goes right into here. Again, had to use a uh, mallet to get it in there real good. And then after you do that, you will take this part here this rubber thing and uh, one side says rigid on it where's it at there it is that part right there that'll go on the outside part and this is going to connect on here and go together with this bolt and the wing nut all right so that's how that looks on there with the wing nut on it. Alright, the next part it shows is the top brace support. This is this brace that's right here. It was sitting back here like that apart and you just slide that in there until it lines up with this hole and then you're going to use these bolts that are the smaller version of the axle bolt because it needs to be able to move because it's smooth. It's the only way I figured out that that's the right bolt. Alright, now it shows you to push the push release lever, which is down here at the bottom. See, it says lock, unlock. So you push this, and presto, magic. Oh my gosh. We're getting somewhere. Something's happening. And as you can see, when it's in the other direction, I push release, 
pull that straight up goes together and when it's in this level like this you could actually use this as a dolly for some things if you needed to so that's kind of cool um, but anyway right now we're going to do this so we can get our saw set up on here and go to the next step we're almost there all right so the next step shows these that will attach onto there but first you need to attach them onto your saw and the way it shows to do it is with this that has the release lever which you see here which you'll have in your front here that you see i've got my saw set up here and that is the back of my saw this is the front of my saw over here and uh back front anyway uh so that release thing is going to go where it lines up with the front of the saw on these holes here right there see those holes goes in here slides where you want it and uh using my great powers of logic and deduction as it shows in the directions it shows that it has lock washers and other washers and all that well this is the only set that has those it wouldn't be these here and it's obviously not these knobs so i'm starting to run out of hardware so uh, I, uh hopefully that's a good thing but this looks like the right hardware to go with that again directions and labeling of things is just horrible i am just surprised at rigid on that all right there you see i've got it mounted uh those bolts that i put through for this as you can see you go bolt and then you go regular washer lock washer nut and this is adjustable for however you want it to be i guess i'm just going to kind of put mine in the center for now i suppose there are reasons why we may want to slide it back or forth depending on a board we may be dealing with. Um, so just do these hand tight before you put, when you put them on the bracket. And then this just slips on here and on here. And once that's slipped on, you push those down and this locks it in place where the saw will not slide. You can slide that saw back and forth so you can work with your table however you need it to be which is awesome so i'm going to go ahead and snug these nuts up a little bit uh so it's not slidey on me when i'm trying to cut stuff there you go i use a 12 millimeter deep well socket and on this side you have to use an extension to get past this area here and there you go it's all snug and secure it's not moving anywhere it's not moving side to side because I got my latches done we're almost home we are on the home stretch now all we have left is these end pieces all right the next part of our mission is these pieces here and there that go together and they will go together it will look just like this that bottom part there goes sliding into here the short knob here this one is the one that goes here okay and that's so you can raise and lower this and adjust height so you can hold boards and this right here is also another adjustment so you can raise and lower this part right here can go up and down by just turning that knob and there you go it goes down or it can go back up so there you go on that so I'm gonna put the other side on all right so we got all of that all together all we got to do now is attach the bag on here and throw away those directions and I have these four bolts left I have no idea what go to um, they're not shown in anything that I can see and all my parts are on so and I didn't miss any bolts so who knows I don't know I'm just glad to have it after everything that I've gone through uh, the bag easy enough uh, just spring pinch on here and it'll go right on 
Uh, so there you go. I've got the blade on there. I've got a trim blade on. Uh, what you got to do is you have to take this guard loose. Okay. And the way you do that is you have to take this nut here loose. Uh, they give you, this comes with the saw, this handy hex nut tool. It also has a little tool here on this end. So if you want to take this guard completely off of here, you can also do that. Um, they would advise against doing that and with the 10 inch yeah you're probably better off not taking the guard off um, but anyway uh, you take that off and then there is a screw here find my finger there it is right there you gotta have a Phillips head for that and then this arbor thing here comes off and it kind of springs off and then this whole thing can flip up out of the way and then up in here you have your arbor and you will have to use a half inch wrench it does not come with an arbor wrench but those usually wear out anyway so a good solid half inch wrench you want to have that on the job site with you whenever you're working in case you need to change plates because you're going to need that so keep an extra half inch with you on the job site um, but anyway there it is it works we are all set up here and we are ready to try to test it. Okay, so here we got it all put together here and everything. And there's a little latch right here that you just push your foot on, which I showed you before. And you just push your foot on there and you just push it down. And there you go. Voila. And this thing, you can remove it a little bit more. like that. It is very sturdy, very rigid. Everything is really good. Uh, like I said, you can move these, just pull those latches up and you can move that back and forth. This right here goes up and down. So you can do that. And uh, which side is it here? Yeah, this side. This side here expands out if you've got longer boards. Pretty good ways. I don't even know how far it goes. That's, that's pretty good. I, I would definitely call this a professional grade model. Okay. So here we go with our very first virgin cut. Get on the right side of the line here, and here we go. Beautiful smooth cut. This has a lot of spring for uplift, so it just makes life easier. Very ergonomic. The trigger and the, uh, the safety on here are right next to each other. It makes it really easy to use. So I highly recommend this thing. The guard is great. Uh, a lot of times I hate guards and I'll pull them off and not use them. But this guard I'll leave on here for my own safety. And you should too. All right, so what can we say? Um, UPS, major fail on this. Uh, both times shipping, just terrible the way they did the box and the way that turned out. It was just a mess, and missing the wheel the first time really made it disappointing, made it to where instead of waiting for three days of shipping, it was like six days before I actually had what I wanted. So, anyway... Um, you know, UPS was a big fail on that. Um, missing the wheel, that was a big deal. And the directions, the directions were horrible, terrible directions. Uh, they, directions just, yeah, they were bad. And, uh, you know, some I could see somebody that's not very mechanically inclined having a lot of problems with it. Uh, you know, I had to go buy pictures and comparing the bolts and all that to make sure it was the right bolts that you used at the right time. So anyway, um, that's how that went. Uh, when I got it back all together though, it, it was heavy, very heavy, but had huge wheels. Like I said, you could drive a Prius with those things. And uh, it, it's very strong 
and it's got a great foundation for the saw and like I said you've got to have a great foundation and life you know and the best foundation I can recommend to you is having the foundation in Jesus Christ and if you don't know him you need to and you need to get that foundation and the best way to get that foundation is through prayer and through listening and through reading his word and that's how you will get a good foundation and the rest will follow from there but you have to have a good foundation first and just like with this saw you got to have a really good foundation otherwise your work is not going to be as good and the same thing goes in life if you don't have a good foundation you're not going to be able to work well and so anyway uh it's a great working saw highly recommend rigid it worked really well very little mess when you cut the back works really good uh the mechanics of the frame and and uh, how it wheels around and everything is superior um, it's extremely strong I would highly recommend this for commercial use even that's what I'm using it for and so uh, it, it's it's a good deal it really is um, got it at Home Depot they came together they were running a sale uh, so it was a lot cheaper getting them both together and so it was a good deal and i'm very pleased very happy with it even though the boxing stuff and the directions after getting through that it was a good deal so anyway um hope everybody's doing good out there um you know i, I need people to subscribe to my channel please subscribe hit that button subscribe you can do it you know you can you know you want to and uh, trying to get more subscribers so I can share uh, all the things that I do the products that I look at and review and uh, so I can spread the good news and so anyway that would be much appreciated and so anyway this is the way and uh, keep your boots dirty and your souls clean Reverend Colonel Signing out.